But I don't know why this guy's looking at me. I don't want to have to wind down the window and cast it anyways. Welcome to Vlogmas. Today I'm meeting a friend for lunch so I'm going to leave out to meet her. We're going to go to Shoreditch House. I'm so hungry. I've done that thing where I've like rushed this morning. So I woke up. I filmed like part of a try on haul which I'm really excited to share with you guys actually. It's a collective haul and I've realised I really like doing the collective hauls. It's a little bit more um, like different brands that I don't usually feature on the channel. So I'm really excited for that video to go up. It'll be obviously coming up very very soon. Um, today I've got my cosy jumper on. I'm very very cold it's very dark outside it's basically two o'clock in the afternoon but looks at like I don't know it looks like it's five six o'clock um so yeah there's that I do actually have a sponsor for today's vlogmas that is Teddy Blake they've kindly given me another bag and I'm working with them on this part of the video I don't know if you guys are following me on Instagram but recently I basically like re-brought out one of my older Teddy Blake bags and I've been wearing it quite a lot so they've reached out to me let me show you my new bag before I show you the new bag, here is the box that it comes in. I did already, um, I've already been wearing it basically because I just filmed that video and basically the, the bag styled really, really well with a lot of the pieces in that new haul. So I was like, oh, let me, let me quickly style. But anyway, it comes like this in this huge box, which is great if you want to keep it and like store things inside. Um, and then obviously you do have a dust bag. This is like the most, um, this is the most backward unboxing because I've already unboxed the bag. I'm so sorry, but... <laughs> Here is the dust bag. I always, always keep these dust bags. They're honestly so, so, so handy. So here's what the dust bag looks like. Let me grab you the bag. Here is the bag that I picked out. I'm actually going to be wearing it today. I think it goes really nicely with this jumper. This is actually known as the Kate Croco. They do have this in different colours. So I actually picked out um the brown and i picked out the 12 inch they have different colors and then they also have different sizes as well um there's a nine inch with this one and then there's so a smaller one and then there's also a bigger one so this is like perfectly in the middle um what i loved about this is it does come with a strap for you to wear across the body however i think for me i'm probably just gonna carry it like this i typically carry bags in the crook of my arm like that that's like my preferred way but i don't know true it's a little bit cold so i probably will just put the strap back on one thing i love about the teddy blake website is the designs the designs are honestly so top tier very nice quality i believe they use a team of italian designers as well and i mean the quality and the finish and the other bag that i'm referring to that i showed you guys i'll probably have popped the photo in but that bag is probably around i mean I got it really early on in my channel so it's probably around three four it's probably four or five years old that other teddy blake bag that i was wearing let me actually grab it for you so here's the other one that i usually carry i usually wear this a lot more in the summer but i don't know it, i have been wearing it a lot more recently i absolutely love it they have really great leather so it's like premium leather so look like i said this is a really old bag you can't even tell there's no cracking like the material has stayed the leather has stayed like great quality so here are the two bags i mean can you go wrong premium italian leather cannot go wrong and the branding on this one is down here so it has the teddy blake in this goldy color if you guys don't like the croc i mean i just couldn't help myself they do have this in like plain and they also have like so many other styles and so many bags on the website so you definitely have to check it out and i think one thing to note is if you spend the right amount of money on the right piece and the right bag it's gonna rework rewear you're gonna be able to reuse it with different outfits and it's gonna last and stand the test of time literally just like this one i really really like their bags honestly to me they kind of remind me of very expensive <laughs> designer handbags and i think you know the cost of living and the cost of certain goods has really 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 increased the cost of designer handbags has skyrocketed and i think if you're going to get something which has the same quality the same craftsmanship like premium like leather i'm gonna go for teddy blake anyway all that to say i i'm gonna get ready for lunch now i have to run out literally right this second i'm gonna take am i gonna take the strap with the new bag or should I carry the old bag? Which one should I carry? I think I like this one today, you know, actually. See, this is what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, this will be like my summer bag, but I'm wearing it a lot more in the autumn, winter. Hmm. Should I carry the new one or the... I think the old one kind of goes better, you know. Okay, maybe I'm going to carry the old one. Okay, cool. Let me run out to lunch. <laughs> you guys will see which one I picked out in the end. Um, oh, I love this new one. Anyway,
anyway, I am procrastinating. Let me go and I'll catch up with you guys once we are at our destination. Also, excuse me, because you know this part of the hair is always flicking up, flicking up. Listen, honestly, mate, I've decided to pop a hat on to kind of combat this whole flappy flappy situation. <laughs> Before I forget, I'm gonna link the Kate Croco Teddy Blake bag in the description box below. And also they've given me a discount code, which is TB Raquel, which is gonna save you some money on the website. I would highly, highly recommend checking out the website because honestly they have so many, so many, I don't know why I keep going to grab the bag. And the thing is this bag is now on the reserves because I'm taking the other Teddy Blake one out. But anyway, um, I'm gonna link it down in the description box. Definitely check out the website because honestly they have so many bags, so many different styles. There's definitely gonna be something for every on that website so anyway as you can tell I'm rushing because I don't want to be late uh, so let me get out of here and I'll speak to you guys in a sec So just jumping in here to add some context, it is of course the next day um, and I went to the YouTube Creator Collective Red Party. So essentially YouTube have so many different collectives. Uh, they have YouTube Black, they have Women of YouTube, they have the YouTube Shorts community um, and this was the party that was basically just bringing them all together. They had quite a few um, different things and bits and bobs going on at the event. If you guys know me, you know that I have a sweet tooth so of course <laughs> I was at the big mix station for sure that was my favorite all of their drinks were like a red theme like in keeping with the party they also had this amazing um brand here called soul surgeons and they had all of this really cute like headwear so obviously the theme was red i wore red lip <laughs> that was my um like red vibe however when i got to this little station here i was able to pick up like a red um, tiara that you guys can see here and it's honestly so 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 cute I absolutely loved them and the two ladies there that were running this I was chatting to them for a while they were so sweet um, but yeah I'm probably gonna hand over with this voiceover and let you guys enjoy the rest but it was a really lovely night um, in a moment you guys will see that we watched No Guidance perform live so to hear them and see them live they sounded really really great live so yeah it was a really lovely event um, but yeah I will hand over to the rest of the scenes from the party and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm so sorry for this angle. Um, I've just, I've just, can't even talk. I've just left the YouTube collective party. Um, it was actually really, really good. It's a little bit earlier. Um, it finishes at, I can't actually see the time right now. I want to say it's maybe 10, 15. Hold on, let me see. I'm just switching my shoes out. I can drive in them, but I don't want to put my socks on. It's 10 past 10. Um, I actually wanted to be home in bed by 10 unfortunately that has not worked out um but the event was really really good <sighs> the reason why i wanted to be home early or like earlier is because i can feel myself getting sick and i'm so gutted so today i was meant to upload 
um, a vlog, obviously, it's Vlogmas, or a video at least. Um, but I don't know why this guy's looking at me. I don't want to have to wind down the window and cast it. Anyways. Anyways, um, so yeah, I was meant to upload today, but I could just feel myself getting sick and getting run down. So yeah, I was meant to put an upload. It's obviously meant to upload today, but I missed it today because I'm just feeling so run down. Tomorrow I'm going to do a self-care day, I think. Um, I also started this vlog yesterday, but then I went to Shoreditch House and I'm like, duh, you obviously can't vlog in them places. So <laughs> I don't actually have anything to show for the day yesterday because I wasn't able to um, share like any footage. I wasn't able to get any footage basically. So basically went to Shoreditch House and went to Penyan, I think it's called. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Me, I love a bit of English grub. I'm not even going to lie. I love a bit of English grub. So any of the Soho houses will do. I like to usually get like a chicken Caesar salad and then a burger and then split it with whoever I'm with. Um, but yesterday, obviously Shoreditch House has this like Japanese ribata style restaurant. 10 out of 10 we had aubergine we had this fried chicken thing we had this corn we had these ribs uh we had salmon uh no sorry we had sushi we had a we had us a time me and queenie it was so so nice we we're just catching up um so yeah that was yesterday this morning all i did was go to get my nails done um which excuse me because my hands are probably a little dry um got my nails done and also went to home bargains because my nail tech now lives by like a home bargains um dunelm home sense like so many shops so i went and um had a look in some of the shops after i will insert the home bargains haul actually okay so here is my little home bargains haul i excuse my voice I, my chest right now anyways I have these multi-purpose dental wipes. The reason why I got them is because of the packaging. I said, hello, is this Island Escape? I was like, yes. Are the little ones cheaper? Probably, but anyway. Um, these candles, they were $2.99. When I tell you, I always say this, I wish you guys could smell through the camera, but they smell phenomenal. How they burn will be a different story. So we'll just, I'll check in and let you guys know. I got gingerbread, they had mulled wine and they had another one. Um, and then I also got warm apple and cinnamon. I couldn't believe the price, they smell phenomenal. They smell literally exactly like Yankee candles. Mmm, so good. Okay, so that's those. I picked up some Unstoppables. I did also go to Aldi. So this is for my sister. This is for my sister, just like a normal chocolate, white chocolate, the little candy um, chocolate selection thing. So those are for, for my sister. These are for my sister. These were in Home Bargains. I picked out a new sponge to wash the dishes because I'm using an elbow grease one, which I don't think I'm supposed to be using, but anyway. Um, some raw or pure tea tree oil. I picked out these because they're non-scratch. Um, and because my kitchen side is a little bit lighter, like I'm used to a dark one, my old one was very dark. Um, sometimes it gets like little marks and stuff. Um, they come out really easy with the normal cloth, but I thought I'd try these because um, they're non-scratch and they're antibacterial and anti-grease. So I can use one on the cooker, one on the sides. Guys, oh, sorry, this is why I got this for my partner. He loves um, hot chocolate, but he just mixes it with water, which is so bizarre to me because obviously have because i'm an espresso girl right so we obviously have the milk frothle the arancino so i'm like why don't you at least froth the milk anyways yeah so i picked up this um i also guys how amazing is this right i've never seen these before they're foot warmers they're self-heating insoles instant heat air activated safe and natural heat i cannot wait to try these out apparently it works for eight hours um they're air activated insoles good for keeping your feet warm disposable insoles um but yeah here's what they look like remove insole from the outer package expose to the air for two to three minutes insert insole into the shoe with the material side facing upwards enjoy up to eight hours guys i bought two because you guys know i have that issue with my feet right um and we're going to the christmas markets and i was like oh my god they would be perfect so i picked these up um the four this I've already shown you, this is a flora cleaning pad. They had Mitchum in there, it's kind of cheap, so I was like, okay. Um, this is gonna go in with um, 
it's going to be like a stocking filler for somebody. I picked up some white spirit because I've got to clean the glass around the doors. So Flora, Winter Spice, or Fiber for this like big one. Um, you guys know I don't drink instant coffee, but here we are. This is for George. He drinks the instant coffee. So it's the car caramel gingerbread Yule Log. Um, I picked out a huge Domestos bleach. This from Aldi for 175, which is a flipping bump, but here we are anyway. And then I also picked out this vanilla and shea butter um, hand wash and this is actually an antibacterial one because some of them are not antibacterial so you have to kind of watch out for that and um, so I picked that up and that was my little haul that was the home bargains haul um I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm sorry if I seem like a little I'm I feel so like run down all of a sudden so, yeah I'm sorry if the vlogs are like a little bit bitty I might even just do like the weekly ones going forward if I just can't like start to feel better because I was starting to feel a little bit sick and then I was like oh let me put the Vicks on let me do the lem zip and then it went so I was like okay fine I'm obviously not going to get sick and then it's just like it's just like you know it's just like lingering there like waiting to creep up on you that's how I feel so I want to take it easy I don't want to stress myself I want to be able to get to Christmas and enjoy my dinner do you know what I mean so um yeah that's my TED talk <laughs> thank you for watching this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah I'll see you guys very very soon ciao Sorry, I know I ended the vlog, but um, I just walked past, like, for some reason, all my neighbours are up downstairs. So, like, as I walk past, like, I say hello to everyone. And the guy was looking at me, he was like, I just, they're probably thinking, this girl, why is she walking around with a crown on? Um, but, yeah, <laughs> that, I thought I'd just share that with you guys. I'm going to literally hop in the shower, take off my makeup, have another lem sip. I think I've had maybe two or three today so far. I'm hoping that and by Lemsip I mean the Sainsbury's version because they're all made in the same factory I don't need to pay for the name um same with the Vicks it's actually not Vicks but that one I think I might have to pay for the name you know that one I think I might have to actually get the proper Vicks so anyway yeah I'm back home going to shower take off my makeup put my Vicks on have my Lemsip get to bed this is actually officially good night and also thank you to Teddy Blake for also sponsoring part of this vlog I am actually um I've decided I'm going to keep this box because it is huge, look. And I think, um, I'm basically, obviously not the dust bag. I'm not giving the dust bag away, I need it. But I think, yeah, I'm gonna either make it like a little hamper or I can like individually wrap my sister's presents in there. I don't know if that, uh, I got that large long candy cane thing for her though as well. I still need to get other bits and bobs for her. So there's that, but um, maybe they will fit in here. Anyway, I am procrastinating. So yeah, that's what I'm, <laughs> thank you to Teddy Blake for the bag, <laughs> but also thank you for the box because I'm going to use it to um, put Christmas presents in. And um, yeah, anyway, that's it from me. Thank you guys for watching. I'm really hoping the next time I come on camera, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I'm going to see you in a couple of days um, when, as I said, I'm out with YouTube again. It's a YouTube music event, which I'm really, really looking forward to. And um, there's a girl, she's a singer. If, you've, if you're on TikTok and Instagram and stuff, you'll know her song. I think one of her like more, famous ones is greedy but her name's tate mccray um, and she's doing a gig in london so i love listen me i love a bit of live music me you know i really really do i haven't been to a concert in time i'd like to know why i'm rambling good night you guys <laughs>